What's up, folks? We're back, and then the subs are coming in, which is weird because they were already here uh, when we were getting started. Hello, hello. So good to be back. Hi. Um, Chris Kringle, thank you for the nine months. A lot of people resubbing as we got started there. Uh, T Mac with the nine, thank you so much. Happy stream, child. Yes, thank you. Raising it as our own. Alexa Rose, thank you for the 28. Appreciate that. Buffoon, 34. V number go burr. My Cabbages, thank you for the five so much. Appreciate that. SKB with the 34 after laying dormant for a thousand years. Subscription redeemed. Silla Blossom, thank you for the 28. Oh my gosh. A lot of followers as I was offline. Uh, thank you so much. So good to be back. Uh, thank you for the warm welcome. I have missed this dearly. It's been, I don't know if I've had a longer break. Be be between March Caprice and Easter and then vacation right after, it was just like a cluster of me not being here. Um, so I'm just like, really, uh, I think it's been 12, 13 days or so. Um, so it's, it's, if it's not my longest, uh, block off from streaming, it's, it's gotta be close. Uh, maybe when I, maybe when I had my surgery, even then I think I was back sooner. So, um, just really, really glad to be back in the swing of things. Glad to be, uh, back at, uh, at what I love. Um, followers while I was offline, they must have been interested in my best content. Um, T-Mac, the best content that I do is the regular rambles, which I am three weeks behind on, I think, now. So it's going to be a big one coming up, hopefully, this week. Um, but I had a nice vacation. Regular GF and I, we got away for a couple of days. Um, nothing crazy. It was just nice to have some time to ourselves. Um, I did see the eclipse uh, from my place yesterday. Um, it was underwhelming because in PA it was very cloudy. Um, I'll talk. We'll we'll talk turkey. Let me get the uh, code on the screen. This is just James with just the uh, general cage trivia. Thought it'd be yes, nice to just go back to basics for a bit. Uh, kind of a palate cleanser as I return. Oh my gosh. Um, Galvanus, thank you for the five gift subs. Wow, Galvanus, thank you so much for, uh, that's 45 total. That's five here for Jam, Jackamara, Bardi, uh, Lena and Verse, No Limit, and Jip214. Thank you so much. And Frutoon, thank you for the 26 months. Pat back to reality. Oh, there goes Pavity. <laughs> it's true. Uh, it's true. When you fuse me with, uh, my, my typical, uh, dental... History, you get Pavity, which is very unfortunate. I am going to the uh, dentist on Friday to get my chipped tooth fixed that I've had to endure for several weeks because they thought the cleaning was more important. I beg to differ. Um, anyway, Degenerate Moron. Thank you for the 11 months. Appreciate that. I'll never tire of saying that. Also, uh, Never Evan. Never Evan, thank you for the follow there. Um, yeah, so for the Eclipse for me, I, and for the record, when I stream, no earthquakes, no solar eclipses. When I'm streaming, I haven't had either of those two things. So, just want to say that uh, I think the natural order of things is for me to be here, and you're all welcome that I've returned, and there are no more strange phenomena will occur. OJ, what's up? Thank you for the 16 months. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, the uh, the totality for where I was, it was supposed to be like 3, I think it was 318 to 3... 23 or something like that was like the five minute window of totality it was complete cloudy foggy smog smoke uh during that block but i came out like 20 minutes earlier good for me i came out 20 minutes earlier and i was able to see with the glasses um a pretty cool um eclipse moment but um during the actual totality it was kind of a bust it was a bit, bit of a load of bump what a load um so i'm glad that i like came out and looked before the totality. Otherwise, it would have been a complete nothing. Um, a little bit you could see it peeking through, but not really. Also, I was near the uh, earthquake, but I was asleep and I did not feel it. Uh, regular GF was awake and I think she just didn't notice because everyone else around us did, <laughs> but like we were on our own and I was asleep and she woke up before me and she did not notice it and everyone uh, everyone in the general several hundred mile radius around us seemed to have, so I don't know what happened there, but that's, uh, that's how the cookie crumbles. That's how the earth quakes, I suppose. And, uh, Oma Sorbus, subscribing on desktop in the car, using my phone's hotspot, saved me. 
Wow, that is the most Gen Z way to subscribe on Twitch, I think. Or is it actually? No, that's probably up there, right? Uh, okay, I was gonna say, if you were driving while doing it, that would definitely be the most Gen Z way to resubscribe on Twitch. But thank you, Oma Sorbet. Appreciate that. Um, honestly, it, you would be in less danger if you were driving while doing that. I feel like you are absolutely in more danger being on car, desktop, hotspot, Twitch uh, than if you were to just drive while being distracted. I feel like the, the amount of danger there is, there's a huge discrepancy. Um, you put in the wrong code, Vodka? Uh, I don't think so. Seven... Oh, you know what? You have an extra nine in there, Vodka. I will, uh, pin... The, this is the correct one. Um, pin that new one there. <coughs> let me see if I can do it. Or let me see if Vodka can do it. She'll get it. What's up, Jackie? That's alright. That's alright. Fake nails. It's fine. By the way, happy first stream of Women's History Month. I have not streamed since March 28th. Um, so it's... It's really been a minute. Um... PJ's here. Wait for me. PJ, you got to, uh, feel like, uh, you get knocked on the leaderboard, PJ. Feel like, uh, Fortune may have, uh, may have lapped you there, bud. Let me see. Yeah, you're five behind, buddy. Gotta catch up. Um, vacation, no. We did not go anywhere warm. I'll say now because, uh, I didn't, I didn't feel comfortable, uh, you know, saying ahead of time. But um, we just went to Atlantic City for a couple of days. I had never been. Uh, regular G have been a couple of times. Uh, it was like the weather was so miserable. Um, it was like we stayed at the Hard Rock, and it was uh, it was really nice. Like the casinos. Like we're not big gamblers. Um, we both put in like a fifty. Um, mine my last me a pretty long while. Uh, she blew hers, but mine was uh, about I would say forty minutes. I was able to stay on that machine. I bet sixty cents per spin. Um, but what can you do? Um, but yeah, it was, uh, the two days, two nights that we stayed there, it was, the weather was miserable. Like, we walked the boardwalk, the boardwalk, and it was, uh, just, like, a constant mist. It's, like, 42 degrees. The wind blowing against your face. There's, like, two people out there. Everything's closed. We found, like, the saddest arcade that I've ever been to. There was, like, a long hallway of crane machines with, like, way too few items in the machines. There's just a guy vacuuming, sadly. He would just, like vacuum near you and like wait for you to be done with whatever you're doing like he would just like wait there and, like i'm like trying to like get coins and he's just like i'm trying to vacuum because it's like 2 p.m in the middle of a tuesday wednesday afternoon um but i did win 700 tickets by dropping a ball directly into the chaos hole and i'm not even kidding that's what it was the chaos hole um i got my mom a shot glass so that was, I won there. I did not win so much on the actual adult gambling. Um, what can you do? Yeah, Ch Chaos Masonic Adventure. I was, I was imbued. I opened my heart and, uh, thus I won 700 tickets. Um, it was more so nice to just, get, you know, get to spend time with her. I saw her family a bit, uh, past week. Um, so that was nice. Um, the vacation, we, we day drank, um, as the patrons can attest to. I definitely popped in, in the middle of the day. I had the best steak of my life, the best mashed potatoes of my life at the uh, the steakhouse we went to for our like, you know, fancy anniversary dinner. Um, that was really nice. Um, I would go back, I would have the same shitty weather if it meant that I could have that steak again. <coughs> um, we think we might go back in the, in the summer when it's a bit nicer out. Um, we, we did DC last year and that was like not so much a vacation as much of it as was like an adventure. We were like trying to take it easy. There's nothing more tanking and easy than eating steak and day drinking at the casino. So it was fun. Um, and Nick, thank you for the eight months. Appreciate that. Yes, happy foot stream. Not a happy feet stream. Yeah, that would get me taken down. For some reason, me streaming with my feet is less offensive to TOS than streaming happy feet to movie, which I've never seen. Remember there was like 2007, 2008, like every movie was about fucking um, penguins. It's like three or four penguin movies in that like two year block of time. March of the Penguins, uh, Surf's Up. That might be the only three actually, but well, there was Force of the Penguins, I believe. That was a, a spin off or a, not a spin off, a spoof. Um, I like penguins. Um, if I had to pick a favorite bird, I think they'd be. I'm already getting ready to put my controller on the ground. I don't need to. We had to play trivia first. Penguins of Madagascar. I feel like that was like later, but Madagascar was around that same time too. I think the TV show was like late aughts, maybe 2010 uh, or so. 
Um, let me put my code in, 7953307. Excited to get to work on my next project. Um, I, uh, actually, am I excited? Uh, it depends. <laughs> it depends on once I really get started on it. But it's uh, something I've been putting off for a while. But, uh, I think it could be interesting. Um, I'll be Corporal Patty, because it's general trivia, baby. Let's go. Let's get it. Let me in. I'm a moose. Uh, who took my giraffe? Who took it? Who took my giraffe? Who took my giraffe? It's, it's Ribbonfly. Thanks, Ribbonfly. You're a trooper. You're a champ. Appreciate it. Um, I thought you're, <laughs> I misread your message, Vok, and I thought you said, let me spoil his next project, Spore. I, I saw Spoil, and I, I thought it was Spore. Yeah, it's gonna be a Spore retrospective, which, honestly, I would watch the shit out of one of those. If anyone could find me a good, like, 40-plus minute Spore retrospective, I would love to watch that. Um, okay, here we go. Just James with a general cage trivia. Let's get it. <coughs> Ooh, um, which of these is not a type of Trinity Mark in KH1? Is it Trinity Rush, Detect, Ladder, or Jump? Yes, yeah, so what if Jabid's Zaid by the Crocodile? That's true. Buffoon, you are on the case. That's all I'll say. Um, yes, Trinity Rush is not the name of the, uh, the red one. That would be Trinity Charge. Um, detect is the name of the white one when they uh, they touch their weapon tips. Um, that's it. And then ladder is green and uh, jump is blue. Uh, but uh, the red one is charged. That's the official name. Number two. Uh, that's a great question. Is it this? Who gave the peddler a hoard of treasure prior to Sora's second visit to Agrabah in KH2? Was it Jafar, the Sultan, Pete, or a member of Organization 13? This must be some some of that text bubble dialogue. Right. Yeah, because I remember everyone's always like, um, actually the organization is in Agrabah because he they show up and they mess around with the peddler, they meddle with the pedal. And I always forget about that because it's a text bubble. And I, uh, I skip those. But there you go. Um, I wonder which one it is that goes there. Is it Saix? Zegbar? Who knows? Number three. Oh. Um, what is the name of the DLC expansion in Kingdom Hearts 3? Reborn, Recoded, Remind, or Recall? Um, let's rank these. Um, you know what? I think Remind is the best out of these. But then I like Recall. Um... I feel like Recall would be great if it was a phone game, because it's like, you use your phone to call as well. And then Reborn, and then uh, Recoded, yeah. Okay, here we go. Good job, everybody. Number four. <clears throat> Ooh. How many Ansem reports does Aerith give you in the Hollow Bastion Library in KH1? Four, two, five, or three? Between two options here. You gotta do this before she gives you, uh, Kuraga. You gotta keep bothering her. Ah! Yeah, I was between three and four. That's so many. I feel like it's like two, four, six, and eight then that she gives you. Um, that's crazy. She has so many. I guess she just finds them in the, uh, the bookshelves. Number five. <clears throat> yeah, why is she hoarding them? Ooh, um... Probably that? Ooh, could it be? Uh, I don't know. Which of these songs is not playable in Melody of Memory? Gardando Nel Buyo, Critical Drive, Squirming Evil, or Black Powder? Um, I know two of these are... <laughs> nice, okay. Yeah, I was between blue and red. So that's the uh, Ansem boss fight music, and then Squirming Evil is one of those big KH1 boss tracks. Um, Black Powder is the BBS. That's a classic. And then Critical Drive, is that... Is that the World That Never Was battle music? No, because that would be in there then, right? I always forget what Critical Drive is. Um, but it's not French. Critical Drive is from Days. There you go. That's what it is. So it is that, but not from 2. Okay, let's check in. <clears throat> It's Big Smoke. We got... Buffoon, Silver Inferno, Stupid Computer, Me, and Fruitoon. Number six. 
Ooh, I had no idea. Who does not have their original voice act to reprise their role? Uh, this feels familiar to me for some reason. Beat, Rhyme, Joshua, or Shiki? Mmm, damn it. Okay, never mind. I thought for some reason it was Shiki who didn't get the, uh, the OG voice, so... Oh, because that makes sense, because Rhyme probably got older. Although, when did Tui come out? I guess 2007. Between that and 2012, that would be enough time for the voice to change to dramatically. Okay. Seven. Although, I don't know, what was Rhyme a child actor? I have no idea. Not the name of a room. Ooh, uh... Uh, that? God, we, neither of those sound familiar. Um... Not a name of a room in the world that never was. Twilight's View, Verge of Despair, Crooked Ascension, or Walk of Delusions. Fuck. Yeah, it was between blue and red. Um, I cannot think for the life of me what Walk of Delusions is. Is that day? Oh, that's why. It's 3D, of course. Um, these two are in, too. Um, Verge of Despair is made up. It sounds real. Good fake name, James. Number eight. <clears throat> How old is Yuffie during the events of KH1? I know how old Leon is, but I don't know if I know what Yuffie is. 17, 16, 15, or 18. <coughs> she reads as, like, only slightly older than Sora to me. Fuck. She's two years older. So, wait, Yuffie's older than Riku? I don't think so. That seems... That seems fake news to me. Because Riku's 15 in KH1, I don't think Yuffie's reading as a year older than Riku, but I I could be wrong. Um, Alright, whatever. And Leon's 25, by the way. And I'm 27. Number 9. <laughs> that one. What is the name of Scrooge's restaurant in Twilight Town? Is it Le Giant Bistrot? Le Grand Bistrot? Le Foley Bistrot? Or Le Etoile Bistrot? Did I get that? Did I get that right? Reading test. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, Le Grand Bistro. There you go. Number 10. <laughs> oh, no. Quest exploration, a real thing that one does. Which of these characters does not offer any quest to Sora during quest exploration in Recoded? Alice, Waka, Phil, or Aladdin? Wild fucking guess. Damn it. Waka, yeah, that makes sense. He's probably the least important of all these characters. Um, but for some reason, I thought it was Aladdin. I thought he was just kind of not that involved in the recoded story. Number 10, because he's frozen for most of the time, right? I guess that's why. Let's check in. <clears throat> Buffoon, Fruitoon, Silver Inferno, Stupid Computer, and Never Evan. Number 11. Ooh. Uh, which one's not a team in the Hades Cup? They could be a real team, just not in the Hades Cup. That's what's throwing me off. I'm not sure, though. Fuck. Oh, so Dust Vanguard, that's real, right? That's just not in the Hades Cup? Because that sounded so familiar. Fuck. So it's from, like, Hercules or Pegasus. Damn it. Okay, so they're all real. It's just that only three of them are in Hades Cub. Twelve. Ooh, beats the fuck out of me. True or false, Experiment 221's pod is a different color in Birth by Sleep than in Stitch, the movie, which I saw whenever it came out on DVD in my mom's car. On the little flip down TV screen. Fuck! God, it was a 50 50 and I blew it. Uh, what's up, Yosh? Thank you for the year. Appreciate that. It's green? Okay, well. 13. Insane question. <laughs> I got it right. <laughs> oh no. Uh. 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 <laughs> Name one of the seven pat. Oh no! 
No, I just typed the door to darkness. The, the, oh, fuck. Fuck. So there's two password things in Radiant Garden with seven potential passwords. Yeah, I typed Kyrie and then I deleted it and typed Alice, and then as soon as I hit it, I was like, oh wait, no. When he's typing these in, when it's Xehanort, it's the apprentice names. Also, another counts. Um, imagine being at the point in your life where alias is one of your passwords. Jesus. Okay. Also, Splash, thank you. Homie, I'm home. Thank you for the 23. Homie, I'm home! 14. Fuck. Ooh. I'm between these two. Fuck. What's the name of Saix's default claymore? Luminary, Lunar Phase, Lunatic, or Crescent? <clears throat> Vodka is key smashing. Ooh, good. I almost picked Lunar Phase, but it is Lunatic. Man driven mad by the moon. 15. <clears throat> they really didn't like this. Ooh, um, it would be this one. Which of these isn't one of Riku's attack slights in Chain of Memories? Dark Break, Dark Faraga, Dark Aura, or Dark Strike? Um, yeah, the very same, Omosorbit. That thing that I know that I'm always talking about. It's that. It's inspired by that. Dark Strike is fake news. I believe in order of deadliness, it's Dark Break, then Faraga, then Aura. Aura is the uh, all nines. The uh, 27 total. Okay. By the way, I'm so close to meeting Persona 3. Like, as soon as this ends, I'm doing that. Uh, Silver Inferno, Buffoon, Stupid Computer, Fruitune, and PJ, 16. Uh, that would be this person. In Cage 2, who does Xemnas claim to be the source of all Heartless? Maleficent, Ansem the Seeker of Darkness, himself, or Ansem the Wise? Big hint. <laughs> in the screenshot. Um, you bitch. It's you, bitch. Yeah, Anthem the Wise. What a fool. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm a fool. Alright. 17. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Barnabas. I've been going nuts on it. Ooh, didn't we learn this? Um, what is Leechgrave's name in the Japanese version? Tentacoffin, Leechthorn, uh, Sick a plant or parasite grave? Sick a plant would be great. Um, also, Game Champ, what's up? I haven't had the chance to watch the uh, the video yet, but it seems like it's had a warm release, so I'll have to sit down and give that a look. Um, parasite grave, cool. I got lucky. I got way lucky. Even though Sick a plant, did you come up with that, James? That's so good. All right, eighteen. <laughs> Ooh, great question. Um, it's one of those two, and I'm going to go with this. Good job, James. Um, is this the logo from Days 1, BBS, or 2? I feel pretty confident that it's not 1 or 2. Nice. That is BBS, because 2 would have some Underworld stuff, and I feel like KH1s is a lot more plain. Uh, all right. 19. It's that one. What is the name of Cypher's gang? Is it the Twilight Town Restoration Committee, Disciplinary Committee, Sustainment Committee, or Fortification Committee? <coughs> Baller question. Is it a reference? I had no idea. To seeds? Isn't that what the, it is? Seed? That's weird. Yeah, Persona 3 is seeds. I think FF8 is seeds. No, seed. Yeah. <laughs> 8 is seed. Persona 3 is seeds. Okay. 20. The bitch committee. Who isn't the name? Um, it's this one. What is not the name of a book in the Hall of Ashen Library? Saleg, Azul, Mava, or Ifet? I definitely know this one. <clears throat> I've done this puzzle too many times. It is Ifet. The other ones are real. And I always thought it'd be so cool if they were the names of the foretellers, but it's very fanficy. 
All right, Mava is Master Ava. Oh my God, that'd be really cool. <laughs> Silver Inferno, Buffoon, Stupid Computer, Fruit Tune, and PJ, final stretch, 21. Oh, I don't know. Where is Tyranto Rex's Dream Eater emblem located? On its chest, back, head, or tail? My chest, my back. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm the only motherfucker that said tail. I just thought it'd be stupid, so that's why I said that. Um, I forgot to add the uh, the new sound drop, so hopefully I'll have those for Thursday. Um, that was like that was the last stream I did before March Caprice really ramped up, and then uh, I totally forgot. So my bad on that. But Thursday we'll have them ready to go. Twenty two. Uh, that would be this. Which of these is not an animal mask worn by the foretellers? Leopard, wolf, snake, or bear? And I just realized I'm gonna need my glasses for stream. Because I'll be sitting further away. Here they are. I got them. It is the wolf. Because bear is a sed, leopard is gula, and snake is envy. Alright. 23. <coughs> What's up, Esper? Actually, you've been here, because I saw you in the lobby. Oh, God. This is a personally offensive question to me. How many times do Lock, Shock, and Barrel throw a bomb in Roxas's face? Four, five, six, or seven? It is just so fucking funny. Yeah, at minimum, it's four, and that's still too often. Fuck. Seven? It was seven? I was like, okay, in the day's video, I was being dramatic and over-exaggerating, and it was probably only four times. Seven times they do that shit? That's just one world in days. And Halloween Town is not that long of a world. Like, that is so many times for that to happen. The seven pumpkin bombs of light. These motherfuckers... <laughs> Wah! And he makes the same noise. Wah! Every time. Roxas, the poor fuck. Alright, 24. It's just a prank hand! <laughs> uh, nine item. Oh. I think it's this. Which of these is not an item that Ventus needs to find to help Jacques make Cinderella's dress? Is it white lace, white button, pink sash, or pink thread? Um. Fuck. Ah, oh, I knew it was one of those. Oh, so was the sash white? Or is there no sash? Fuck me. God damn it. And Vodka got kicked from the book it. Shit. Pink sash. I love that segment too, but it's not ingrained in my memory. White sash. Damn it. So no sash? 25. Final question. <laughs> what did Demix steal from Olympus Coliseum in Cage 2? Is it the Olympus Stone, Phil's Abacus, my Abacus, the Hercules Cup, or 5,000 money? Oh, what a classic. A Just James finale, to be sure. Not my abacusy! <laughs> it's the Olympus Stone, baby. Finally, it's an answer again. Hallelujah. Um, that's not the Olympus Stone, that's his cue card. But he's got both. Okay, let's see. In third place, it's Stupid Computer. In second, it's Silver Inferno. And in first, it is Buffoon, the trivia champ. I haven't fixed that while I was gone. Alright, and in fourth, it's Fruitune. And in fifth, it's PJ. And for our top ten, Never Evan in sixth, Esper in seventh, me also in seventh, uh, T Mac Fart in eighth, Galvanus in ninth, and General Apollo in tenth. I am a child. Alright, uh, I'm gonna say that this was a good old fashioned uh, 59, baby. Damn, 50%. Alright, let's do the hurdle. Um, I would play the Spottle with you as well had I not already done it. I think we should do that as well. I think we should do the Hurdle and then the Spottle. Um, no worries, Omasorbit. Thanks for being so brave and resubscribing on the on the car hotspot. Appreciate that. Ooh. Uh, it feels very Final Boss. Um, like, I'm thinking... Gardana no Buyo. But it feels too high for that, but I don't really know. I don't really have any other leads. So I'm gonna try that. No. 
Is that how Dark Domination starts? Oh, hello? Are you there? Okay, let's refresh. Dark Domination? Hello? Is that not in here? I kind of refuse to believe that it's not in here. I'm gonna type it in anyway. <laughs> Distati something? I mean, it's using a Distati motif. Sorry, David, if that's not the right word. I think it's fucking Dark Domination, and it's fucking with me. I'm just gonna say... Distati... Distati. Okay, never mind. It was just plain old Distati, which is used in Dark Domination, I believe, as well as Gardondo, so I think I was on the right track. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry for thinking that the really good song was actually the really bad one. I apologize. Wow, wow. Because you all could have done it, huh? You all could have done it with one shot? I bet a lot of you could. So, joke's on me. <laughs> What's up next for Blicket? Great question. I have no fucking idea. Um, we have a lot of stuff in the schedule, and even more in the form. Um, a lot of vodka. Let me see. We got KH or Barbie and the Princess and the Pauper. Um, we have KH cutscene name or Taylor Swift song. We have Prismatic Melody. Did we only do that? Prismatic Melody? Oh, that was uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. No, <laughs> Bath & Body Works or Prismel name. That was Vodka. This other one's by Aid. Um, we have some trivia about the KH3 loading screens, aka Kingstagram. And then I have like 20-something quizzes in the form. So whatever's happening on Thursday, I don't know yet. Um, I'm really behind on doing anything responsible, and I'm sorry, but I'm gonna be better now. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's get back to playing the video game with our feet, and by our feet, I mean my feet. That would suck if we shared the same feet. Um, it's like a roy royal we, you know, like a we as a community are doing it, okay? Um, so bye, VOD people. Goodbye.